Hello everyone and welcome to everything you need to know how to test a purge solenoid weld and before we'll begin and a little bit theory. Purge solenoid weld is a part of evaporation emission system Purge solenoid valve controls the amount of fuel vapor that is purged from the charcoal canister into the engine. For example, on this Volkswagen Golf, purge solenoid valve located over here, we see the line is coming from the charcoal canister. It's coming to the purge valve and it goes straight into the intake manifold over here. Pretty much the same system and location applied on this Nissan engine. We see the line is coming from the charcoal canister, which is located under the vehicle by the fuel tank. And this hose is coming to the purge solenoid valve. And then it enters the intake manifold over here. But depends from the make and model, which I said, that valve can be installed under the engine where's the charcoal canister or closer to that. All right. For the test, we need a vacuum pump, a 5 8 rubber hose with the clamps, a multimeter, and a battery power supply. Plan a battery voltage to the uh, purge valve terminals and see if it produces an audible click. Yeah, we can hear the solenoid is clicking. Let's try another one, so from Dodge Grand Caravan. Yeah, this one is making audible click as well. Don't be careful, don't short the alligators. Next test, we're going to do the test if the purge well closes properly and doesn't leak. We connect our 5 8 hose to the vacuum pump and tie the clamp. Make sure it won't leak at the connection. Make sure it's tight and snag. And uh, we're connecting end of the hose to the purge well to the side which goes to the intake manifold to the engine that's important this uh, solenoid is from Volvo second test we're going to apply the vacuum and see if the valve can seal properly we'll pump the vacuum up to 15 inches mercury vacuum, like so. And let it sit for 5-10 minutes and see if the needle will drop down. It's not leaking fast. I mean, it's well still sealing. But I can see that needle is going down slowly. I mean, it's, it has leak at the valve. Let's wait for a few minutes. Okay, we're back. And as we can see, valve is not holding vacuum. It should. It should hold the vacuum. And why is this valve is defective? And we had an engine light due to that issue. Okay, let's create a vacuum again. And as you can see, I connected one uh, terminal. And as soon as I touch it, that walking should drop. You can see that's that works. Let's test this purge well. This one is from Dodge Caravan. See if it works. This one is even had even has a mar marks is like to the canister this one goes straight to the engine intake manifold where those vapors can be burned let's see if this one works it's pretty 
pretty tight. This is what I'm gonna see and see if this will hold the vacuum. Go up to 15, a little bit more. Okay, let's wait for five, 10 minutes. Okay, we have uh, about five minutes passed. As you can see, the needle is still staying at the same place, around uh, 17 and a half inches uh, mercury of vacuum. This valve is in a working condition. As you can see, it's immediately dropped to zero. Now we're uh, doing tests by using the multimeter. First, we're checking a continuity because a solenoid is just a single uh, continuous coil over the wire. It can be tested with the continuity to see if it is open or not. We set our reading multimeter to continuity. You see this little speaker symbol? And we're testing this Dodge Caravan solenoid. Let's see if it has a continuity. Yes, it does. Solenoid is okay. It's not open circuit. Let's test a purge valve from Volvo. Circuit is not open. Next, what we're going to test will do ohm readings. We'll go to ohms. Resistance can be vary from the type of the solenoid, depends from the make and model of your vehicle. This one is from Volvo, but normally it should be around 30 ohms if the current flowing through the coil around 4 amps. Let's see what this one has. Don't touch the prongs with your fingers. This one has uh, 21.3 ohms. And the solenoid from the Dodge, which one is in working condition. This one has a little bit lower resistance. It's 14.4 uh, volts, which is, which is all right too. This solenoid is Spare one can be used, and this solenoid has a problem with a seal. It's not going to be used, it's just a demonstration or just an example. Thank you so much. Appreciate it for you to watch this video. If you have any comments or suggestions or anything you think about it, just write in the comment section down below. And if it will help you, I'm so happy about it. Thank you so much again, and we're going to do more tests like this. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Stay safe. See ya. Common problems can be with the purge solenoid when valve stuck in open position, or it can stuck in closed position with no flow. Also, that valve cannot be sealing properly, not fully closed, that will create a leak as well and uh, not operating at proper time, which is not very common. Usually bad purge valve will display a few symptoms like rough idling. When valve stuck open, it will create a leak that will affect the engine idle, engine idle speed. Difficult to start or engine can stumble or run rough and you will get some emission uh, evaporation emission codes like PO441 or PO446 and other codes related, but it's all like